looks so pretty. So pretty. So pretty. I am so proud of this eye. I love it. It's so simple. Eyeliner with mascara. <laughs> All right, now the next eye. <laughs> I hope I can replicate it. This eye is so perfect, but this one I need help. This one is struggling. <laughs> I'm struggling. But it's pretty. It's so simple. <laughs> I can't wait to expand more on my makeup skills. <laughs> Last night, I knocked out... Oh, did I say good morning? Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Last night, I knocked out. I just got ready for bed. And I laid in bed and I immediately KO'd. I took a nap. I woke up at 7 p.m. And then I went to bed around midnight. And now it's 4 o'clock in the morning. A co-worker invited me out to go to a shooting range. <laughs> and then another co-worker invited me out to the bar. So... I don't know how I feel. I don't want to hang out with people. I feel like I'm still getting the hang of work. It's only been three weeks and <laughs> there's just so much things to do at work that I'm not ready. I don't feel comfortable going out yet, but I am going to the shooting range <laughs> because I just want to see and just look and see what it's like. I feel like everything is happening so fast. I've only been here for three weeks and people are already inviting me out. <laughs> like, I just want to enjoy my time at work. I don't know how long I'll be here, maybe like five years, but I'm not ready to open up and share my life or go out with people or hang out with people. I'm not ready. I'm like, when will I ever be ready? <laughs> I feel like I've learned so much where I used to work at the old location. I am bringing my knowledge with how I interact with people to this location and I think it's best I take it slow I don't tell people what I do like I don't tell them too much information about me because life does go on and everyone's life is busy and I don't want to force any connections with people and then it's weird at work that's not what I want <laughs> I'm like there to work and go home and do my own thing <laughs> I mean I don't know it's hard for me it's hard I have trust issues, that's all. Everyone else can be like spending their spare time, hanging out with others, but I'm really particular with who I hang out with. I don't want those bad influence or bad energy. I don't want that bad influence or bad energy to affect me. Plus I hang out with other coworkers at the other location where I used to work. And then when we go back to work, we don't even speak to each other. So it's kind of awkward. <laughs> I'm gonna go get ready for work. I'm currently watching Love is Blind. So I'm gonna be watching that for like 10 minutes and then I'll be driving to work. It's 5 a.m. right now.
I just got home <laughs> from a gun shooting range and I nipped myself with the gun. It's lead. How was my experience with the gun shooting? Oh man. I was not expecting that. First off, I don't know how to hold a gun. I guess I am a slow learner. I'm a really slow learner. But yeah, I just got home from a gun shooting range. Okay. We gotta push it. We're kind of holding it like this. Okay. This? Okay. Grip it really good like this. Use your other hand to sort of like an additional grip around your other fingers. And then send it. Okay. So let's put this in. Are you okay? How was my day at work? My day at work was really good. Saturday is a busy day, but everything was good. After work, I went to the gun shooting range. And then after that, I was talking on the phone with a friend. She reached out to me and I'm so glad she did. This is a friend, y'all. Um, and then I went to go get Chick-fil-A. Oh my god, what is happening to your eyes? I'm taking my makeup off. <laughs> oh. Yeah. You have to do makeup wipes. Whoa, look at that. It's a lot, huh? I want eyelash extensions. But they're so expensive. Getting ready for bed. 
I'm gonna watch Love is Blind season 5 and then I'll probably fall asleep. Tomorrow's my day off. I have laundry to do. Oh, I hear boba. Yep. Where are you in the living room? Are oh, you doing payroll? Mhm. Mm you hungry? It's in your mouth. You hungry? I am currently on the phone with my oldest sister, and I will be going to bed now. I've had a long day, and. <laughs> Your girl is just gonna sleep in a sweater because it's getting cold lately and I Sorry. like sleeping in the heat. Hopefully I sleep like a baby. It's getting late. So yeah. <laughs> I look so pretty. I've had a day. <laughs> but anyways, I've had a day and I'm gonna go to bed. So good night everyone. I just found my family picture. Whoa. I was just looking outside at the patio. I saw this, it was turned over. So I only saw the back part. And then when I lifted up, I saw the family picture. And I was like, what? I thought someone in the family took it, but it's here. That is me and my mother, my sister and my mommy. This was back in the day, me and my brother. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, look at us. Oh my goodness, look at my eyebrows, my gauge. <laughs> wow, my hair. But yeah, that's my family. I have a lot of paperwork to go through for work. They're like two binders. Actually, it was three, but I threw one away. <laughs> yeah. I officially reached under 200 pounds. <clears throat> that is so crazy to say. I weighed myself this morning and I am 197. <laughs> wow. I feel like that co-worker, the muscular, fit, jacked, toned man, <laughs> he really helped me a lot. His advice has helped me tremendously. Before I talked to him, I was eating less, but I was snacking throughout the day and he talked some sense into me. He said you should not be snacking because it doesn't give your stomach some time to process the food. I was like, oh wow, okay. So I stopped snacking and I started fasting. So now that I'm working at this new location, I have not been eating. I've been really focused with work and whenever I come home, I fall asleep. <laughs> I rest my body because I have a lot of work to do. I thought my previous location was work. No, honestly, it wasn't work to me. The previous location was not work to me. I just felt like I was coming in to work to help out the community because everything is set up for success at the last location. But at this new location, everything is not up to my standards, I would say. It's mainly run down, like infested, um, dirty. <laughs> I'm like trying to think of all these terms, but 
I've been ordering new products, new things for the company and I want to like set the bar really high. I have standards when it comes to what I do <laughs> and I've just been hustling and working so much because I truly do care and people do see it. They see me as an asset. They value me. They're like, whoa, who is this? chica <laughs> who is this girl coming into work i do have people who don't like me you know i'm here for work but i'm also changing a lot of things and a lot of people don't like change they are so set in their ways um <clears throat> but <laughs> here comes catherine with change <laughs> i think change is good though change is needed we are no longer living in the 1900s or the 2000s. We are living in 2023 where everything is updated. And I feel like we should be improving ourselves every day. We should be improving work. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. But anyways, I'm having a good day so far. <laughs> I can't believe I found the picture, the pictures of my family. How exciting. The question is, where do I put it? I guess I'll call someone. <laughs> Hello? Can I use your drill? <laughs> oh my gosh, can I use your power drill? Do you have nails? <laughs> I'm kidding. I feel a lot happier now that I am no longer working under a manager. I am the manager and everything falls on me. I'm not worried because I know like what I bring to the table and if anyone has an issue with me, you know, I've learned a lot on how to deal with situations. You can't dwell on the past too much. You have to keep moving forward with the relationship, with the company. You have to keep moving forward. I learned a lot. <laughs> a lot of uh, trauma this last location gave me. <laughs> I think when I first started working here, the men, the men though, were just, it was not good. It wasn't sexual harassment though. Like I did not go through sexual harassment. It was just like, why? <laughs> but at this new location, it's still the same scenario with me. There are men approaching me. How do I feel? It's only been three weeks that I've been working here and men are already approaching me. Asking me for my number, asking me to go hang out, asking me if I have a boyfriend, walking me to my car. I feel like I've learned a lot and I just don't know what people's intentions are. So I do have boundaries when it comes to men. Like I ignore them, but they're also my coworkers. So I have to keep it friendly. Like I have to draw that line. And I've learned this at my last location when a lot of men were approaching me. So I feel like now that I'm older and wiser, I'm in control and it feels nice. I cannot believe that I am under 200 pounds. Can we talk about that for a little bit? I was texting my coworker. I was telling him like I've been over 200 pounds for three years, like three, four, many, many years. I don't know what I was doing wrong. I just kept going at 210, 212, and then I went up again, and then I went down. His advice helped me so much. It feels nice to go after what I want. I would like to lose more, more fat on myself. Like this gotta go. My stomach has to go. My thighs gotta go. I think I have a double chin. <laughs> I think I have face fat that needs to go. But it's a work in progress. Like this will not happen overnight. <laughs> I will be ending the video here. I hope everyone is having a good day and thank you all for watching me. I've just been really busy lately with work. I will still continue to do my content. Not every day, but like when I get the chance to. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in my next video.